everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over the MCU Black Panther, Nakia and Okoye from Marvel Legends. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. So here is Nakia. She looks really cool. Let's take a look at her and see what's what. The head sculpt is fairly nice. It looks pretty good actually. I really like it a lot. I'm only saying pretty good because there's a head sculpt coming up that I like a little bit more. But the hair is fantastic. It's a darker color with a lighter color washed over it. it looks very nice. It does look kind of like a wig though, a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty cool though, I think. Now the gluing isn't really that great on this. I do like the earring, looks cool. There's some like weird molding error over here. That's kind of strange, but it is a good face and a good head and I like it. The body is pretty ornate. A lot of really nicely done detailed portions of it. These rings are really cool. This armor is really nice. The back is kind of plain. I love this armor up by the chest. You know, that's really awesome. I love this too, this ornateness on the chest right over here. The body looks cool. A little bit of gold washed in the middle, as well as these two brackets. And this like loincloth piece looks really great. It's pretty awesome. I like it a lot. Really nicely done. The legs are interesting. It's like tattooed or engraved, which is kind of weird and creepy in a way to me. The feet or then the boots are kind of weird. You know, they have this weird kind of like spring looking things or air pumps, I'm not even sure. They're silver. I feel like these are based on concept heart, based on something that, you know, we're eventually gonna get to, but it's still pretty good. That loincloth is still awesome. We have this pattern on the back, looks very nice. But yeah, these are just weird, these legs. Nakia comes with these rings that are pretty neat. I really like how they look. They're very worn and torn and old school and stuff. They're awesome. She doesn't come with extra hands or heads or anything, just these two rings which is okay, I guess, but they could have given her something a little bit more. I still appreciate what they went to to make these look cool, and they're just great. As far as articulation goes, the head goes back this far, forward this far, you get a lot of swivel, and then pivot right over here. We goes up this far in this one, up this far, farther on this one. We get all the way around for both. We get a double joint elbow that can swivel and also hinge this far. You get a swivel and then a hinge at the hand. You get a back, a forward, a side to side. It's a ball joint, it can go swivel too. Nothing on the waist, I don't think. Yep, nothing on the waist. This is kind of floaty. I think this is broken though, this piece. It goes out this far, in this far, up this far, down this far, back. Nah, it actually works pretty well when you move it past the skirt. You get a swivel up here, nothing down here, a down and up, and then a kind of stiff ankle pivot with two peg goals at the bottom of the feet. It's pretty good, but not as great as I want it to be, especially by 2022 standards. Nakia stands at just under 6 inches tall next to this big box! So here's the box for the Marvel Studios Legacy Collection Legend Series Black Panther Marvel's Nakia! Whew, that was a lot. So yeah, it looks really nice on the inside. The artwork looks wonderful. The artwork on the back looks really great. A member of the Dora Milaje, Nakia protects the reigning Black Panther with strength and poise. Yeah, they had to change it, I think, seeing as the reigning Black Panther is different from this year. But let's take a look at this figure otherwise and see what's inside. Just cut the side, open this up, pull this out, and you have the figure. Simple as that. Take it out, the accessories right over here, and then the figure. Nakia looks to be the exact same sculpt, but vastly different paint. So the head, let's compare those. It looks, I think, better in some places and worse in others. I'm not exactly sure. I like the hair better on the new one, but I think I like the body paint and face paint on the old one a little bit better. It looks more human and less cartoony. The lips are less accentuated and just looks more normal, I would think. I do like the chest on the old one better than this one, but I find the rest to be much, much better. You lose those really weird, creepy legs and those strange boots. They're actually boots now instead of spring air pump things. But these legs are a vast improvement. They're sort of like stockings in a way and look really nice. On the back, you miss that gold, but you gain this little thing that accentuates it as a separate flap, which is pretty cool. I see they had to actually like take out some parts of paint to justify others. And while I get that, why not just give us the whole thing? I do like how they made this a different, like, you know, accentuate the different parts of it instead of just making it gold which is kind of lazy on their part, but also how this one doesn't really move all that much, at least I hope it won't move, while this one does move out of place a little bit, 
but I'm just glad we have these good legs on this figure. Same articulation and everything, but different, you know, just paint on the figure, and that's basically it. As far as accessories goes, she has these really cool crystallized looking rings again. They have these little more brown handles than red. They look a little bit sort of like candy in a way. They look sparkly on the inside, but I know they're not. They're translucent too. You know, you could see that my hand coming through it, and that's pretty neat. Compared to the other ones, they're pretty much the same exact thing, but different, you know, material it's made out of. I'm not sure which I like more. I'm probably going to keep both these figures, and they are pretty cool together. The new Nokia stands at just under six inches tall next to the old Nokia, and I find that the old Nokia is a little bit taller. They go like by slightly, slight amount, but yeah, those boots make a big difference. So I do find that while there are a lot of discrepancies with color and stuff, I'm going to keep both of these and probably Kit Bash, my favorite. But I do appreciate the things they fixed and the things they've nixed with the new figure. And I respect that. Those times they are changing. Speaking of orange, here's Jesse Heck Creative. Fear me now, O oh evildoers, for I am four tenths of Shang-Chi! Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. So here's Okoye. Let's take a look at her and see what's what. So here's the head of Okoye. The paint is really good on the back of the head. Very nice. A lot of triangles looking together. It's really awesome how they look. They're all sort of connected with this burst pattern. Very, very neat and super cool looking. Awesome. I like the face sculpt too and the paint. They look good. So I really like the color choices for this. We have a deep red and a gold with orange and then some black. The black does peek out through here a little bit more than it should, but this chest area looks wonderful as well as all the different little patterns and textures and colors seen within. The back looks fine. There is some paint splatter over here and it looks boring on this side, but I do like how it looks overall except for this. Needs a retouch. The legs are ornately done as far as the sculpt goes with a flat portion for the shins and more rounded portions for the thighs with that weird kind of cut groove in there. I feel like this figure had a redo that I missed. I'll probably pick up later on or something, but it's still pretty okay as far as it goes, yet I wish there was some actual color on these legs. As far as accessories goes, she comes with this long spear. It looks pretty cool. It has this sort of like hooked point. You know, you can stab and then jab into somebody. You know, going out and in is very tough on the body for this spear. But it is really well done with the different patterns and striations of it. It looks really awesome. It could be like a whip spear or something. I haven't seen the movie in a long time. But it's just really cool and well done. There was a knife that came with her, but I don't know where it went. It's similar to this, but it's still pretty cool. This spear is very nice. As far as articulation goes, her head goes back this far, forward this far. You also get a swivel and a pivot. We get up this far, down this far, all the way around, swivel right here, hinge right there to 90 and down, go swivel and then up and down on this hinge. We get an all the way around for this side to side, back and forward, nothing at the waist, out this far, in this far, up this far, back, not so much because of this. Cheating that, we go around it and get this much, it's pretty okay. We get a swivel at the top, nothing at the bottom, down and up with an ankle pivot and two peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Pretty good articulation, but it could be better, especially by 2022 standards once again. Those female figures need to have their due. Okoye stands at just under six inches tall next to the first version of Nakia, and they look good together. You know, the new one, I don't think would really do it justice. There is a new version of Okoye that I found out, so I'm definitely going to pick that up. But yeah, she looks good in this iteration as well, and that's pretty awesome. And also here, Jesse Heck Creative. Whoa, hey, I didn't steal your knife, I just misplaced it. I have no clue where it was. Ah, oh, it's in the meatloaf again! Overall, I thought these figures would be pretty bad, but they're actually pretty good. Articulation is pretty solid on them. I'm very happy with that. Sure, it's the same between each of the three figures, and a lot of it is reuse between the three of them, but they all have their own strengths and weaknesses, as is. Nakia 1 is really good. I love the silver that really pops on her. It's really nice. The legs are kind of creepy and weird, but that's fixed with Nakia 2, who has, I think, better paint. It does sacrifice a little bit of that silver in pursuit of the other colors 
in the figure, yet I do find that he comes back on the boots, and those legs are just amazing. I feel like the tunic and skirt piece is a little bit, you know, better on this one too as well, as is the necklace piece that I really love and miss as far as the first one goes, but Nakia 2 is pretty solid, especially with those really shiny bracelet rings. Okoye is really good in this iteration. I don't have her new version, but this one's pretty solid as well. The gold really shines, the autumnal colors are great, and the legs don't really look that bad as far as the etchings go on them. They look worse on Nakio 1. The lack of a knife is fine. I'll find it in the meatloaf sometime later. And the head sculpt is really good, especially with that paint on it. But yeah, Okoye and Nakia are great to have in a Black Panther MCU collection, so definitely pick them up. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jesseheckcreative.com, where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching, and keep being creative. Stay tuned!